Well, let's turn attention back to that rather devastating development in Kaduna State, where about 40 persons, most of their children have died in an accident. Let's bring in a senior reporter in Kaduna, Lupe Asom. Uh, he joins me live. Um, Lupe, really, really um, devastating development there. What's the latest you can tell us at this moment? Well, just as you said, it's actually a very, very devastating uh, development. The, the governor has, has said he's deeply pained by this, uh, this incident where over 40 persons, mostly children, lost their lives. Uh, with this, the road safety in their earlier report, they said the cause of the accident was actually due to an overspeeding of that particular vehicle conveying these people. And we must let our viewers know that the Molut Festival holds very, very significant cultural and religious, uh, significant cultural and religious importance in northern Nigeria. It is characterized by religious gatherings, uh, processions, community gatherings, and all of that. So a lot of people gather together. But it was quite unfortunate that for these people, basically children who were coming to enjoy the festival, celebrate the birthday of the Prophet, Prophet Muhammad, lost their lives. Those who are injured have been taken to medical facilities in Kaduna State and some out of Kaduna State. And the governor has directed that adequate medical attention be given to those who have who sustained injuries to forestall uh, the loss of more lives. Mm. And what's the, uh, give, I, don't know if you, I don't know if you've been to the hospital, I just wanted to uh, ask you, you know, about the state of those in the hospital at the moment. Well, of course, they are not seeing various degrees of injuries from fractures. Some of them have wounds. They have cuts all around their bodies. Some sustained injuries on their head and all of that. But the important thing is that these people are receiving very, very uh, critical medical attention. Some of them are in the intensive care unit at the moment. When the incident happened, at first, 25 people died. But the rest died in, uh, in this medical facility. So that's to give you an idea of how severe some of the injuries these people sustained are, but the governor has issued a directive that they should be given adequate medical attention to ensure that we don't lose more children as a result of uh, this accident. And that's the saddest part, the fact that no children are the one dying. Thank you so much, Lupe, for that um, update. I'm sure we'll speak to you subsequently. As senior reporter live for us in Kaduna State, Lupe Asso. Right back to flooding, the Benin State government has prepared camps